Come on, go live. Good, e Hello. <laughs> Good evening, Martin. I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I don't know. Something's, something's wrong with me. You look fine. It's my you look fine. I don't know. I'm feeling a bit... My complexion's a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. you Happy birthday to you. you. Happy you birthday, much. dear Martin. Happy birthday to you. Very One non-alcoholic, <laughs> Heineken Zero. <laughs> we're, we're big boozers, aren't we? <laughs> Cheers, everybody, and welcome to New Music Mondays on Discovery TV. Hello. Happy birthday, Martin. Hope you had a good one. I see you bought yourself a nice little birthday present in the background there. A couple of little birthday presents there for me. One old, one new. I thought that was the, that's, that's the way to go, right? It's a good choice. So, uh, Very good choice. Let's have a look if everybody can see it there. Look. There you go. You should be able to see it now. There you go. I've oh, you always to... always had it, but never on vinyl. I bought it on CD because back in back in those days, 1997, 25 years ago. Green. Wow, is it that long ago already? It's a double album. Yeah, you probably know this because you got it. Double album. Yes. Like, <laughs> and this is the weird thing about mod the modern culture of of record buying, right? Double album, yep. same price as a single album. It's like no difference. It's exactly yeah. They don't treat them differently. Except vinyls have just become so ridiculously expensive now. Uh, We're paying. That I was speaking to this week said they're they're creating their uh, their albums coming out in July, but they're saying if you order the vinyl, we can't get delivery of it to you until at least December. Jeepers! Can't get it. That's back. insane. Yeah, I, I know there's quite a few local bands. Um, I know Wonderboom have just um, released a 25 year um, edition of their um, of their 25 year. So it's their, wow. their vinyl, that on vinyl, yeah, that which should be quite an interesting one. 25 years. Yeah, yeah, 25 years. Right. Yeah, we've got a lot of bands celebrating 2025 at the moment. So yeah, it's good. It's all good. I'm celebrating my my last album was 30 years ago. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> my last vinyl was 30 years ago 1992 I've shown that to you yeah the third wave album we never got as far as make the only thing we got done was uh we got demo cassettes done uh we got a run of cassettes done that you could buy but that was that was as far as we ever got nothing nothing came out on cd nothing came out on vinyl nothing went out streaming because it was all pre those days so I couldn't there's all my cassettes yeah well you know our last album came out on cassette don't you no. Depressed mode. Look at that. That's that's a that's a that's a good cover like that. Yeah. Depressed yeah. mode. Stripped the album yeah. out on cassette. Go and go and find it at your local wherever you buy depressed mode cassettes. <laughs> I think we had it online for order. We saw we we print we pressed fifty and I think I sold them all, which isn't bad. Well, hey. I mean, <coughs> can't complain. What a feeling. Can't complain. Yeah. Fantastic. Anyway, should we, should we so, get on with sorry, some music for the night? You can't get any of those. Limited edition, Limited sold edition, out. Sorry, sold out. you're too late. Sorry. Yeah, one yep. day. One day. That one day. Be, people will be, that'll be trading hands for... Yeah, Although Bitcoin. I must say... No, I'm, I'm, people will be talking about Bitcoin. They'll be saying, don't talk to me about Bitcoin. Have you got stripped by depressed mode? Depressed mode, yeah. Freaking limited edition, 50 only ever pressed. <laughs> Although I must say, I'm very, very proud father today. Uh -huh. I don't know if you see, Dylan's video hit 5,000. Gonna get a lot of work for this button tonight. So big shout out to King of the Broken. Hello. Um, <laughs> brand new music video, which we, we, we premiered here oh, last yeah, week, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah last yeah. week. Um, has officially, already hit 5,000 views. It came out on Wednesday, so it's only been out for yeah. five days. So it's yeah, a thousand so, a day. Well done, Dylan. So very, very proud of the young man. And yeah, Tremendous. we've had an amazing reaction to the single. Um, oh, and there's also some other great news we're about to, I, I told you. We're releasing our own record label. Uh, you know, is it on the card? Didn't know how near. Yeah, we've is it done. Happening? Yep, it's happening. Um, be by the end of the month. Fantastic. Dylan's single will actually be the first single on the label, and um, the second, the first album will be Tales from the Lounge, awesome. Volume One. 
from our studios here in Johannesburg um, with Tales from the Lounge, from an African Lounge Volume 1 releasing as, uh, at the end of the month. That, that is going to have a mighty fine collection of artists on it. Oh, yeah. And then also we're very excited to announce that it looks like and um, we should hopefully be able to um, be going live in the next couple of weeks that Tales from an African Lounge looks like it's going to be available on Quest TV globally. Nice. Which is Quincy Jones's network. Um, specifically, we're targeting the US and Amazing. Japan, but we're going to be focusing, obviously, on the whole concept of our own tiny desk all the way from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm not not to you know again just kind of cover, cover not all grounds, fairly fairly recent grounds, but you've got you've got a perfect connection there. What well, a hero's yeah. welcome I saw last week for the uh, Grammy award-winning black coffee. Yep, we were there uh, at the airport when he arrived. Yeah. So yeah, there's lots of exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. What's Dylan Song's name? It is His band is called King of the Broken. I will post the YouTube link right here. Let me just do that quickly because somebody's asking. Um, I think I can post it here, can't I? I think if you uh, yeah, get there, it'll go on the, uh, on the comments. In fact, it'll go everywhere, I think, if you post in the comments. Yeah, so I shall post the King of the Broken there in the comments. Uh, there we go. King of the Broken, to be human, 5,016 views. <laughs> As of today, so well to done, be, Dylan. To be human is a, like, to, to be, be human is the track. Um, yeah, I mean, cheap as that. There were some incredible comments of a young of a, of a of a mother saying this just in terms of understanding her child, because obviously Dylan's written this from a very much a young twenty year old's point of view about a broken life that we live in as the youth do today. Um, you know, I think it's it's touching a lot of people, which is. Yeah, good good on you, Dylan. Keep writing. His next track, MIA, is also scheduled for release next month. But let's get on to the artist that we have on the show tonight because we got a killer lineup, and I'm very it's excited. All about, I mean, I'm all very, very, there. very we, excited. We down there. It's all about we just, you. We're waiting for one more. Obviously, no Prism are not there yet. But let's get our first guest on, should we? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> So good evening, Keenan. <laughs> let's let's do that evening, so we can hi. see Keenan better. There, there yeah. we go. Wow. That's, That's much. Nice angle. That's better. How you doing? Fine, thanks, new gentlemen. Good. Welcome to New Music Mondays. Great to have yeah. you on the show. Welcome. Thank you very much. Very for me. very excited. So, tell yeah. us a little bit about who Keenan Eckstein is. Ah, oh, where to begin? Um, well, just born and raised in team small small uh, town all the way, and um, been making music since about eleven years old. Uh, wow. Born and raised in a family of, of, of musicians. Um, grandpa played in bands, dad played in bands. Everyone was uh, was uh, somehow in, inclined to music. So somehow the uh, bug bit me and that's about that. Now I'm here. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. So is this your first single? This is the first single that I've officially released, yes. Cool. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, the, it, it's called Dixie Clouds, as, as we know by now. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we, I wrote it about, let's say 2021 start, um, when I still had like a little YouTube channel on the side before I was, uh, discovered by Fort Tomorrow and teamed up with, uh, with, with Jeremy Farber to create, uh, the Dixie Clouds track. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, written as a, a nice little, little ode to, to some folk rock and some indie, some indie tale. Um, but yeah, that's about that. I, I, yeah. Now, Mark and I were chatting about it, and like immediately the first time I heard it, because I remember um, I was I was I was scrolling through Facebook, and it was actually on Warren's Plug Music page, and I was like, "Wow, right. this is really interesting," and I was like, "Oh, let me just take a listen," and um, it's, it just like kind of gave me a very nostalgic Chris Isaacs feel, but over the bit of George Ezra, you know, oh, so nice. it kind of it yeah, kind of brought me with this, yeah. yeah, it kind of brings you this like modern with a nostalgic feel to it, which I kind of really really liked. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. I, I like that because I'm, I'm also a, a really big fan of old music. I'm uh, a huge as uh, I was actually checking out the records. I couldn't see which record or vinyl you had purchased, but I was checking them out because I was also I'm also on the hunt for for some 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 good vinyls these days. Um, uh, but yeah, the old music, old music is very much, very much yeah, uh, see, something that you're, 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 See, you're talking about old music, Keenan, and I'm betting you're thinking of old music is I don't know something that's this like beyond last this century so any, anything that's kind of post 2000 you're probably like as old right no I, I would say i was still thinking going i bought that okay computer by radio and thinking it's a new album <laughs> 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 it's no, no, I guess. 
So you oh. have the, no. you have the advantage, you see. So when I, I, I'm sure I've said this to, to Julian before. There's a lot. There was a lot of music around when I was your age, but there's a mm. lot more music around now. So you've sure. got such a vast uh, catalog of stuff to choose from, both old yeah, and it's, new. It's, uh, it's amazing. Limited. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you're looking for a really good group to get vinyls on, Keenan, go and check mm -hmm. out Vinyl Trader on Facebook. Vinyl Trader. Make yeah. A guy by the name of Craig Field. He brings in some amazing... He can get you pretty much anything you want. And he's okay. always bringing in great vinyls. And it's where I get a lot of my vinyls from. Mm. Um, yeah, very... And he's based in Cape Town, actually. So oh, he, okay. has a, he has a vinyl yeah. a record fair down in Cape Town as well. But has got he can really get you access to anything you want. Okay. I know I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting right. my placebo tomorrow. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Yeah, Very no, really just the, uh, the Fleetwood Mac, um, uh, the greatest hits compilation with some, some Rolling Stones, but I'm looking for some specific stuff. So that's uh, that's actually a great tip. So I'm, uh, he's the guy. The he's the mm -hmm. guy. Definitely the guy to go to. Right. Let's get down to Dixie Chicks. Tell us about the music video. Yeah, so uh, we shot that um, on. We, we somehow conveniently chose the hottest day in Cape Town to, to shoot that. Um, it was some, long. Was that when it hit 50? Yeah, 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 it was that. It was that, that oh, Sunday. It was sack. about February, I think 25th of February, 28th of February. Yeah, 25th. it hit 50 degrees or something stupid. Yeah. We were in Felgif on a salt pan. So we, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we got together with, with Taryn, uh, Taryn Doherty. Doherty. I apologize for the surname pronunciation. Um, She's a director. She's had some some of her some of her own little shorts and and stuff created, and we were very impressed with her work. So um, Jim asked me more or less to, to draft a little story of what Dixie Class meant to me, or what I would want to represent in a in a, in a video of such. And uh, we brought it to her, and she just took it and made it into something amazing. Um, visually, obviously, great. And um, yeah, well, I I I'm very very thankful for that. So uh, yeah, yeah, that that was about that, and got there and had had help from some some great. Great people, great folks with the the, the Panavision, Panalux, all those those kinds of equipment and whatnot. So, so it was it was a very very uh, new and, and, and big experience for me. So, uh, yeah, still still think back to it as, as something surreal. So, apologies for the jumping around and mumbling. So. <laughs> no, don't stress. But apparently, you have a very proud dad here. Um, to your oh. proud dad here, go Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> like it to pull up. <laughs> cool, man. Um, okay, well, let's go and check out the video. Maybe we can chat a bit about what's coming up for you in the near future after that. Here oh, we go. Perfect. This is Keenan Eckstein with Dixie Clouds. Tell us what you think.
Keenan Eckstein with Dixie Clouds here on New Music Mondays. Brilliant. There you go, you get Excellent view. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it's got such a great vibe to it. It's just it's the kind of song bot you have to play on your show. Oh, oh I appreciate it. Of course. I mean, like I said, yeah. it's, got, it's got an absolute, I mean, very popular sound in this country, certainly at the moment. Uh, mm. Yeah, definitely. That, that kind of sound. Uh, so it definitely should cross over and definitely be noticed over here. Great oh, video keep... as well. Like I said, like the, just uh, uh, Jill showed me a little bit earlier on. It just just that opening thing when the when the uh, wall falls off the back, oh. uh, and I thought immediately I thought, I love this. <laughs> very very uh, very creative from 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 uh, also from Terence Terence's yeah. perspective there. So thank you very much, Jana. It's it's uh, honor to have it play on the show as well. It's brilliant. Mm. There were two other bits that really that really struck me in that video. I just want to say one is yeah, yes, please. You, you've got you've got this picture like she, she shows the picture that sketch of you with the right. guitar. And I always think with someone a video like that, you think oh, it's very good. And then you also think somebody had to draw that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really so, good. Would you like Would you like to know who drew it? Yes. Tell us. Oh, so so Jeremy Farber, the uh, the the uh, mastermind behind Four Tomorrow Studios. I don't know if you've uh, read up about the. Uh, the, the production company label that, that I'm signed with, but uh, he is the, nope. he's the mastermind behind that. And he's actually also very artistic in his own way. Um, also helped a lot with the filming of Dixie Clouds, but uh, he's been drawing forever and he's insanely talented with that. So he drew up a lot of a lot of the artwork for that and also has a big influence in the artwork that we that we push into into this journey. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well done to Jeremy. Well done cool. to Jeremy. And the other thing I loved was the looked camera at the end. <laughs> that, that in, in shot. That last shot straight at the camera, ah. like that. <laughs> yeah, thank from, you. Thank you. Like from there to there, love it. Yeah, yeah it was it was the first first uh, first time trying or being behind the camera, so it was it was quite a, a little a little bit of a shaky experience, but uh, but they eased me into it, and, and then Taryn is actually behind the camera, like directing me, like telling me, okay, you know, feel the moment, do this, yeah. and That's then great. watch them. So. Because it Thank really you. takes me back to the days when you we were talking a little bit about this this morning. I was talking to one of my friends. You know, videos used to make or break a song sometimes. You could really make oh, yeah. a song with a good video. True. And we've said yeah. it a few times on this show. It's great to see that the, the, like art, artists like yourself, you've got the songwriting talent, but then you create the collaborations with others as well to create this, these great visuals and it's mm. storyboarding songs. You're creating great videos. I think that's where the magic just, comes from. If I had when... a hat on, I would take it off to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, I always say like the the, 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 the songwriting and the <laughs> Thank you very much. The songwriting and whatnot's like a, it, as as big a part as it plays. I would say it's a small part in that in that big image that you are discussing now in terms of uh, everyone coming together to collab with many different yeah you know great minds doing doing what they do. Yeah. So what are the plans for Keenan Eckstein for the rest of 2022? So 2022 is it has been very dynamic so far. I mean, uh, one moment we're, we are 2022, yeah. aren't we? Yes, we are. Just yeah, double yeah. check. It. I, we, we don't know what year we are anymore with this freaking COVID. <laughs> I'm just going by the days. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Going by months. Um, so yeah, so so uh, we're we're trying to get as many shows in for 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 the next while as we can. Um, Any next plans for Joburg? Uh, we haven't confirmed anything for Joburg yet, but a lot of Cape Town little gigs that we're doing and um new song dropping very soon uh may early may cool. and um yeah there's a there's a little there's there's I, I can't confirm too many too many details about it but there might be a little tour install as well um so i'm very excited to announce that as well but um yeah 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 there's there's, there's a lot of little as, as i say um there's a lot of things popping up now so we're just trying to i'm know, not see, surprised see i'm not surprised yeah. But if you come to Joburg, day. please, yeah, and to, if you come to Joburg, please, we've got a couple of venues and also get you into our tiny desk studio here. We'd love That'll to have you. Um, yeah. yeah, get you onto Hells and Back at Hells Kitchen. So definitely mm. keen to have you have you up to oh, Joburg. Cool. And also, yeah, yeah, when the awesome, new yeah. single drops, please send us so we can get yes, you back yes, on the show. Cool. And what's cool. happening tomorrow? Sorry, you're about to say it. Tomorrow? Oh, no, no, I just want to announce that tomorrow is, is, is Bokoradio. I don't know if you, uh, is Bokoradio over there in Joburg? Mm-mm. Uh, Afrikaans radio station up uh, down in down in Cape Town, so I'll be I'll be streaming oh, yeah. on that tomorrow morning as well. Um, but yeah, catch that, it if you can. Yeah, so so uh, a few a few interviews and then song dropping and then as many as many live shows as we can. 
the the bug for that bit me recently. So after <laughs> the launch, quite yeah, it was it was a nice experience uh, to be able to share it with the world. <laughs> awesome, Keenan. Um, where can people find you on social media? Ah, uh, Keenan Exton Live. Uh, K E A N A N Exton Live. Instagram. Uh, apologies, I, I spelt your name wrong earlier, but I have fixed it. I don't know. No problem. No problem. It, it's quite a it's quite an uncommon one. Uh, thank you, Dad. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was. I was specifically told. You have spelled the name incorrect. Fix now. <laughs> well, it was said very politely. It was no, it was said, uh, but, I'm, but that is one hundred percent right. I must correct it, and I did. Oh, nah. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that, is that an Irish background name? Is that where that comes from? Uh, it's uh, it's Gaelic. Yeah, yeah, Irish. Yeah, Gaelic. I, I checked it out. Uh, it means little ancient one. Ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Very Not nice. sure where where the inspiration came from, but but uh, that's as much as I know for now. <laughs> Keenan, thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. Oh. We look forward to having you back when the new single drops. Please send it yeah, through. Thank you very much for having um, me, gentlemen. Yeah, man. Nice been show. awesome having you on the show. Great video. Please, people, go and check it out. Thanks Remember, subscribe and like. You can also catch the video on our um, YouTube channel, on our playlist. Um, just go and check out NMM 2022, and you'll be able to watch the video there on our playlist. Keenan X Dean on Discover yeah. TV on New Music Mondays. We'll catch you soon, mate. Cheers, thank man. you very much. Until next time. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. Great video, great track. I like it. I think yeah. it'll definitely. It's one of those ones that just kind of grows on you. It's a grower. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. Keenan, no. oh, Keenan also left me feeling very underdressed. Why? He just looked just look smart as hell. I mean, look, guy just like stare, shirt, and thing in the air, and just like. So hey I've also got tracksuits up on. No, he didn't have a tracksuit. No, I'm saying like you. Yeah, so we're kind of the chilled. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. He <laughs> 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 yeah. looks, he looks like a proper <laughs> pop star, and I look like an old scruff bag. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, we look uh, great for our age. Absolutely, absolutely right. We look great. Hey, absolutely. Forget the for our age. We look great. Yeah, just we look great. We should we get another guest on who's also going to look great? Has also got a great track. Let's do it. Hand trial, Neil. Good evening. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening, Neil. How are you? I'm huge. Hey, cool. And you guys, man? Very Can't well, complain. Very well. Welcome to the show. Very excited to have you on. Oh, brilliant. Thanks so much for having me. It's, it's an honor. No, that, and this is like, for me, this is quite an interesting one because I've known you <laughs> as <Yeah. laughs> musician um, for Prime Circle for I don't know how many years. And I'm going back to when I first met you guys at Gresham way back when, yeah. when you were recording the first album, I think it was. Well, how long ago is that now? Yeah. So, so the band, we've been together for 21 years with wow. Prime Circle. Yeah. And yeah, and we're getting I'm strong. really getting old. Wait, I'm really great. getting old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're all getting old. Then. I remember listening yeah. to you when I was just a baby. Just a yeah. yeah. Fantastic. I mean, at, at our shows, we're getting like grandmothers, great-grandmothers, <laughs> mothers, daughters. Very, very it's like we're getting the whole very young and yes. yeah totally wow <laughs> so the it's wide, wide spectrum it shows that it's pretty cool so <laughs> why has it taken 21 years for neil to release the neil solo project essentially <laughs> oh man i i think it's kind of like lockdown has a lot to do with it yeah so i i, I kind of started a band with my son jesse and that, that's, he, he was in high school and we were like, okay, well, let's jam some songs together. Let's write some songs. Uh, and from there, it kind of just like developed into something. And we were like, okay, cool. Well, let, let's see if we release some of these tracks, see what happens. And so it was not really going to be a live performing band. It was just going to be a band that we kind of put music out there and see if it takes off, see if people like it. And yeah, the, the, the feedback's been amazing. Yeah, it's a great track. Uh, so where does the name Control you. come from? So Control is, is the name I've always liked, but it, it kind of means like the, the word trail is like, it's like a king that um, knows what he wants and he's not going to stop till he gets what he wants. So the, the word Control is kind of like, it's very positive. Um, 
just someone who knows what they want and they won't stop till they get what they want. Right. Yeah. Can't get more direct than that. Um, cool. <laughs> I mean, is your son on this track with you? Yes, he is. So he, he plays guitar on the track. Um, he does vocals as well, but not on this track, but he was playing guitar on the track. But okay. yeah, yeah all, all the other tracks, he like plays guitar with me. He sings with me. How does it cool. feel? I mean, because I've also my son's also now got into the music. It's quite weird as a parent, you know. All of a sudden, your son following in your footsteps to a large degree. How did it feel for you as a par- as a father? I think like, it was pretty don't cool. follow me! Don't follow me! Yeah. <laughs> There's no money in this. There's no money. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. I, like at first, I was like, "Wow, that's cool," and then I was like, "No, don't you want to go study like computer science or something?" <laughs> so so I told him, well. "You know what? <laughs> he, he's just finished school now." So I'm like, "Okay, cool." Take, take a year or two, play around with the music, and uh, take it from there. Otherwise, and then go and study law. <laughs> and then go and study something proper. <laughs> that's exactly it. Well, that's cool that you actually get to. So, yeah, I've been writing a little bit with my son as well, but he's now, he's gone on his own to do his own thing music-wise. And we were chatting about oh, it earlier. He's just released his first single on his own. He calls himself King of the Broken. But, yeah, well done, man. I think wow. it's awesome to Well done, it's nice working. Well. It's, it's awesome working with your kid because I think you just, it's a totally yeah. different vibe to working with other musos. It is. It, it's a totally different dynamic. And the thing yeah. is, with, with, other, with other musos, you can like just kind of swear at them in the band room and like tell them up yours and then come back like a week later and everything's cool again. But like when it's your son, it's like, okay, you got to, you, you got to be a mentor at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's a tricky dimension. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, we we get we get on really well. We have a great relationship, so it's very awesome. Yeah. So what's so what's the plans for Control as a project? Yeah. So Control this year we we're just going to be releasing singles and EPs throughout the year. Uh, oh. We 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 weren't going to do any touring or anything, but now a lot of people are kind of knocking at the door saying like, no, you got to start performing this project live and. So we're getting a lot more feedback like that. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We might whip out a couple of shows throughout the year as well. And then from next year, hit it hard, do a lot of touring, do a lot more uh, releases and everything. Okay, well, let's check out the video. We can come back and chat about that afterwards. This is cool. Control Without Love. Tell us what you think. Cool. Yeah. She is crazy into me. Should I follow through without love?
without love can trell can trell here on new music mondays hang on i'm gonna unmute you there where you there you go yeah nice man one. that's the one <laughs> that's the one that's the one Ooh. nice man <laughs> Yeah, it's so Thank cool. You. I see your son jamming there. That's very. That's a great vibe. Nice setting, by the way, for the video. Oh, very, very cool. Nice, that's thanks, a man. Balcony to be jealous of, definitely. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, eh? <laughs> Nothing wrong. Takes me back to the old balcony TV days. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> totally. <laughs> thought, thought I'd like copy like like the the, like the vibe. The, I like the twist on the sort of the uh, the black keys. Um, royal blood kind of thing you know the kind of a, yeah yeah we've got we've got the guitar and the drums no we've got the piano and the guitar like it yeah exactly it's a good twist like it <laughs> we've got to twist it up a little bit eh? yeah. absolutely neil nice one so um when can we expect the next single to drop so i've, I've got a like i'm always writing music so i've imagine? got a whole bag full of stuff that's uh i'm gonna i'm gonna drop it on you guys for the next couple of years <laughs> so the, well, the next one will be soon. Keep sharing it, man. Keep sharing it, man. I will. I will. Thank awesome. you. Will do. Awesome. And keep us updated with all the gigs and everything that's happening as well um, so we can keep sharing it. Congratulations to Prime Circle for 21 years. Still can't believe it. Cool. Yes, Thank it's you. insane, man. Absolutely yeah, it's insane. Not, it's nuts. Yeah. But big shout out to the rest of the guys as well, and we'll chat to you soon. Cool. Thanks so much. Cool. Awesome, well, man. Good luck. Thanks, Dale. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Bye. Bye. There we go. Brilliant stuff. There we go. They're good stuff. Oh, I was going to ask if that's a that's a doobie that's a deliberate doobie brothers reference in that track, right? I'll steal his bar is below. You can just give us a thumbs up. I meant, to, I meant to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I see we lost one of our friends, but no, we'll get the first no, we'll get no, the first no, part. No, 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 there's no prism. No, 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 prism! <laughs> oh, he wants to go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> to say I'm excited about this is an understatement. I, th I well, think Andrew's written, Andrew's written as well in the um, No, he's it, disappeared. You didn't intend to come back. He was there, oh, but he's 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 uh, he, he, oh, hopefully, he'll, he'll, hopefully he'll come back. <laughs> Welcome back to New Music Mondays. Uh no prism. Hello. It's been a Hi, while. Guys, right? and, and and not only that, but since we last saw you, you've grown. You've extended. Um, well, no, we've been extended for a while. Just um, since we the, last saw you, I think last time we yeah, saw yeah, you, yeah, there's been but two of you, and now it's disappeared. The, the, just like the, the <laughs> five, the right the five, was, the five, five of you now. Wow! Five, so, uh, yes, uh, live Fantastic. machine. So let's. Uh, so t tell us what's going on, and hopefully um, Andrew will join us shortly as well, and we can uh, keep up. To um, we just um, we just basically writing new songs, um, um, mixing new songs, and playing live shows. So in the middle of recording at yeah. this moment. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so we're both oh. together now. Back in when Alex was flash recording some guitar for like three new songs. So. It never stops. Lots of well, new material. Uh, well, it, ha it hasn't, and yet this was a, a project that was sort of born. Well, you st you you started this going before all the sort of you know, as mm. they say on the radio, before the thing happened, and then the other thing happened. This yeah. was all kind of uh, all set up, but then obviously we had the weirdness. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And uh, music was hitting us hard. Uh, House of Smith was a great track, and uh, oh, what a track! I forget the one before that, the, the uh, debut single. But this has been a mm -hmm. uh, like last twelve months must have been like you, like you said, starting to get out live. You're hitting those uh, audiences that you wanted to uh, yeah, get yeah, this music out to. How's that? Yeah, well, yeah, it's been great. We've had like three three live shows in like the last few weeks. Um. So just like I just just yeah, to get seven seven shows in total. Wow, nice. Yeah, it's been, been great. Uh, I just think that's we're just trying to juggle the uh, playing live with uh, with writing new stuff. We just it's yeah. enough I was in the day to do it all. Recording, producing, mixing everything, trying to get some get the uh, kind of wheels turning towards getting um, you know the right kind of promotion, record deals, and stuff like that. So. 
Yeah, well, you seem to have some fairly decent names on side. One of whom appealed to me hugely, I think. What does it say written here? What did he say? On the Whoosh radio show, it says here, uh-huh. perhaps the best new song ever. I mean, Who's that's... that? <laughs> no, it isn't. No, and he said, on his Whoosh... Do you know who does the Whoosh radio show, Julian? We've had this conversation before and I've just gone blank. It's fine. And he described this as the, perhaps the best new song ever. Who I mean, was it? You know, he's not, he's not, prob- po- he's possibly not the world's best known music critic. Nonetheless, he is one of the world's best known music stars. Only Simon Le Bon. Oh, that's it. Simon. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Just, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Simon. Me old, me old mate Simon. Oh, me old mate, oh, mate Simon. Yes, Simon. Hello, Simon. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> No, no, but in all serious, no, he seems to be a fan. That's not just a one-off. That's been, he's been supporting you on at least yeah, yeah. a couple of occasions now. Um, well, yeah, he, he discovered us on Spotify and then, and then one day we got a message, a DM from Duran Duran. Oh, um, and that was like good. I bizarre. just got a DM yeah. from Duran Duran, no yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a bit bizarre, but um, and ever since then, he's, he's been sort of like, you know, playing all this, all this, all this stuff, so kind of complain too much yeah yeah no to be that a, be when you board. get a dm that says purports to be from duran duran do you go oh we've got a dm from duran duran or do you go uh, this says it's from duran duran oh. no because what, what happened yeah because what happened, came through and i was like duran duran must be a fake it must be a fake <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> fake account <laughs> yeah and i was texted uh, have you seen this what a dm from duran duran he went what and then before you know it like our, our notifications were just like full of like people commenting and stuff so it almost be real because people actually mentioned the same Lebon but are like Duran Duran fans and stuff like that so yeah it was a bit bizarre but yeah he's a he seems to be a big fan so fantastic nothing wrong this, with that at this point you've not had any sort of direct communication then at this point, <coughs> it's just a sort of supporter of your music he's not been reaching out saying do you fancy a support slot on the next tour guys or anything well no we, we've 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 reached out to him and asked the question <laughs> yeah i would be listen we <laughs> want to be your support band <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep nagging them until he says yes. Just gotta tell them so we turn them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn yeah. I will turn them down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, we're busy that day. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but they've got. I mean, they've got. They've got to be active. They've got to be planning stuff. I and mean, they've got a new album. Well, they they're touring Future Life now. Yeah, but so I know they're they're busy touring that album. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also the fortieth anniversary of Rio this year, isn't it? Is it? Must be. Yeah, I know. I know wow. the are I think this, this summer on the, is, I think they've got like a residency in um, in Los Angeles. I think as part of like a, a long a long stint with them um, with uh, what do you call them? Um, Neil Rogers. Uh-huh. Oh, so yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So hopefully they'll come across in the, in the Europe and stuff, and then then we'll get on there. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, enough about Duran oh. Duran. Yes, what, more no there? prison, please, because I prefer no prison oh, right now. No prison. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, basically, what we're saying is it's been going very well. But new single's been out a couple of weeks. How's that been received? Um, I good. Um, sort of, it's always like a good sort of response. I've always get like backed by by BBC Radio and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's get, it's getting broadcast a lot. It's uh, it's doing all right on the um, you know on the platforms that it's available on stuff. So it's yeah, it, it seems to be doing as well as as any of our other releases for sure, which is good. Nice. Like it. I use a fan of the new single. <laughs> well, we're fans of no, of everything No Prism yeah. does. I know I am. Oh, yeah, I was just yeah. going to say, this is a great catalogue of songs you've got together now. So those live uh, shows must go down on absolutely... Yeah, yeah. I think got, on Spotify, I've got like nine songs, which is basically an album, isn't it? So Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're discussing this, like, if we're actually releasing an album at some point, it'll have a, probably have ten new songs on it. <laughs> so I don't know how it'll work, but... Uh, <laughs> we obviously were always writing, so it's like, like you say, we've got like four, four new ones we're working on at the minute, yeah, I've got tons and, it, and we haven't got, haven't got enough time in the day to mix them. Yeah, it's, it's a nice problem to term- have. Like, with this, oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And in terms of the live shows, I mean, because obviously for us mere mortals down in South Africa, how can we watch? We want to see you live. <laughs> well, the thing is, we're hoping to play. Um, I think there's a couple of things under wraps at the minute for maybe sort of festivals and stuff in the summer. And um, so we're sort of just waiting for those to come through um, down south again, probably. So um, we'll sort of, when, we, when, we, when we know, we'll obviously put out that announcement on them. Um, yeah, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of um, 
good things that are getting sort of uh, tossed about and mentioned and offered and stuff like that. So we're just we're just looking to see where it goes and what we can actually do with it. And uh, yeah. We can't get much more information at the minute. That's the only problem. <laughs> Could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. So, yeah, tell uh, you have to kill you. Thing. So the band is there's five people in the band there. So obviously we've got you got you guys you've got and who else is involved? So yeah, so we've got um well, we've got a drummer called yeah. Philip, um, and we've got another singer called Danielle, um, who's got that big sort of soul voice. Who's and you're gonna get quite a lot on this yeah. record? Yeah. She's on the on the record. Yeah, and the, yeah, so then that was the plan for like. From day one, really, just when we me and Andy started writing together, it was just that was just a, a means to an end to start off with. And then, then we couldn't play live anyway, so then we're looking for band members. And obviously, Alex joined, and obviously, Alex gets involved with the writing and the uh, production, so Alex mixes all the stuff because um, he's good at doing it. And we're shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, so like that sort of it's it changed the dynamic quite a bit for, for, for the better. Yeah. Um, and and obviously the live drums is like, you know, an additional thing that will, obviously makes it more like a live act rather than just electronic. Yeah. Um, drum machines stuff. Like that. So it, we have a combination of program drums and and live drums. So it works. It's quite banging when it when it really sort of clicks into place. That's the idea. Like getting that sort of I suppose going for like a nine inch nails type of live sound. Love it. Big. Oh. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's the live sounds a lot. Um, Kind of more, uh, kind of in your face, a lot, a lot louder, a lot heavier, but kind of yep. also kind of psychedelic in elements as well. It's um, it's more experimental, which is cool, but it's still obviously got the kind of hooks and core of the of you know the melodies there. Yeah. So it's an it's been really fun doing the live stuff to be honest. Yeah, I think I think we've said before. Any anyone, it fe- it always felt all along anyone coming to a no prism live gig is going to have a good night. You know, it's oh, not, yeah. It's, yeah, not yeah, introspe- yeah. it's not introspective particularly. It's not you're not going to um hmm, it's not that kind of night. It's no. uh, yeah, it's that yeah. kind of night. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. <laughs> Can we watch yeah, the video now? Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, go on. You've I got, want to watch the video. You've got the buttons. I I have the buttons and I will play. Let's watch here we go. Turn the wheel. No prism. Put it loud, people. Put it very loud.
Turn the wheel, no prism here on New Music Mondays. As always, love it, love it, love it, love it. <coughs> Martin's playing with his buttons. <laughs> hang on, I've got you guys Hello. muted. Hang on, I'm going to unmute you there. Oh, there we go. Uh, there go. I got a very much, it kind of also reminded me a little bit of early jungle. Yeah, yeah, I get that reference, that reference definitely. I think it's because the aim it's the it's the, the female. Yeah, female that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, no, kind of brings that together. And then that little guitar riff at the end was very Duran Duran. I might just add. <laughs> See, I think it sounds like East But it gave me a little bit of a Duran Duran feel there. I've gone a bit more uh, New Order, but maybe that's what Simon Le Bon hears in it. Actually, I was going to say one of the things I, I really like about it, the two things that kind of reflect off the back of that was the guitar coming in. And I think I've said to you before, one of the things I love about the tracks is just when, you just when, well, I was going to say, just when you think you're done with hooks, you throw another one in. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, okay, we've got, we've got the verse, great hook, yeah, we've yeah. got the chorus, great hook, and then we've got, oh, we're sort of done. Now let's have another hook. Let's stick the guitar in there. <laughs> which yeah, I think is fantastic. Hooks. And the juxtaposition yeah. of the guitar, and bringing the guitars in, that sort of electronic rock uh, thing coming together. I think that's, um, maybe that's the part that reminds me a bit New Order-ish. Uh, yeah, no, I that sort of, uh, The way they use the instrumentation arrangements. But I think, in, in general, I think what I also love about No Prism is you remind me of lots of bands without sounding like yeah. any of them. That's it. You, yeah, you remind yeah. me of No Prism. Yeah, exactly. You sound like no prism, there's no doubt about it. But it's like you do, you have all those little bits of elements, which I hear different elements in so many different songs. Like I've, I remember hearing is Mr. Smith, that track, a very, Smith. like gave me, House of Smith gave me a very Depeche mode -ish kind of vibe when I first heard yeah. it. And I was like, yeah. I was like, wow, because that's my vibe. I'm very into the electronica style. So, but every time you guys release a different track, I just get something different. So it's really cool. And I really love that vibe that you do. You take us on journeys. So I think it's going to be difficult to do an album because you definitely seem to go on these journeys with each single. And then now all yeah. of a sudden putting that into an album format, it's going to That's be it. like... Because everything seems to be about singles these days, isn't it? You know, yeah. It's directly to Spotify. Yeah. So you're putting out a single and another thing. Because people just listen to the tracks they want to listen to, really. They don't... Um... You know, I'm not that's, generalizing. That's, that's, the, received, now, that's the received or the perceived wisdom, I think, Alex. I'm I'm not convinced. Certainly, speaking as no. a consumer myself, as a listener, that's not that's not true for me. That's I'm yeah. still buying cassettes. Going on. I'm still buying cassettes. Look at me. Oh, nice. On the mode ones. Oh, no, <laughs> I know. I got my but new I orders. Think, yeah. I think I think you're right. There is that. There's that sort of uh, received wisdom or the perception that the only thing. Like you've got it, it, everything's about streaming, so just release singles. People don't have yeah. attention spans, all that kind of stuff. And I, mm -hmm. I just feel like, in fact, listening to a few conversations recently, it's, it's so commercially driven because it is about the idea of streaming, yeah. the idea of uh, radio play for a single, especially in the states where they only get paid. There's no mechanical rights on radio, is there in the in the states? I believe so. It's all so, no. um, publishing driven. So get that you get two or three tracks right. as a radio hit in the states, you're made for life. But if you don't get played on the radio, you're making no money at all. So the whole commercial uh, thing is being driven now. towards, it's all about making radio hits. And that's what's generating. Mm, yeah. And I was listening to a songwriter saying that, that, that the great shame of that is artists aren't being given the space to make albums, to do non-hit yeah. songs, but great music. Um, so. exactly, yeah. And there's nothing, there's nothing like a great me. vinyl where not every song is a, is a hit because you want a story. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you'll put yeah. on a vinyl and you go like, and a great example of that right now is the new um, Placebo album, which for me is just absolutely phenomenal. But not every track on that album is a hit. I think it's the last track on the album, which is like this mixture of Depeche Mode and Nine Inch Nails and The Cure, which I could never okay. hear on radio. But what a track. It's like, it's probably yeah. my favorite song on the album, but it'll never be a single. So, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. that's when for me an album becomes so important because you find these hidden gems that, that become personal for you as a listener that you sit there and go like, no, that's my favorite song. Not the song that, that's on the, the beautiful James or whatever that's on radio right now, but that track. And that's what yeah. you want in music. And I suppose that's, that's the key to it. So, I mean, you know, please do the album. We want the album. Yeah. We want those hidden gems that are going to be on the album, not just the hit singles, <laughs> yeah. which you guys keep on turning out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, keep those coming yeah. as well, obviously. Yeah, no, keep them coming, we, but we want we want, we want the, the hidden lot. gems. We want, we want yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, no, no, definitely. It'll be, 
it would be good to get people to look a, a little bit deeper into, you know, into the music rather than just being on the surface value for sure. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So I think it's a different experience. It's just like you know, we, we, fifty years ago, that's how that's how it worked, doesn't it? We? We'll do some singles, we'll do an album, and they weren't yeah. they weren't interconnected. Yeah. Well, interconnected. It was they were seen as a, de- yeah. as a separate thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, well, guys, having said we all love that, it. You do you. Oh, don't to the us. video. You do so, what you wait, is the video the same guys you've been using over the years? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same guy. He's called um, he's called Cotton Bro. He's Russian, and he basically just um, I think it's Annie who does the videos because Annie's like a designer by trade. So he just says he sends me clips. I go, oh, that was class. Just do it, and then he comes up love with the finished this finished video. Like he always he puts it all together and he edits edits all the scenes and stuff. Um, just using this this guy's footage, like he obviously collates over the year, like, yeah. and he's got loads of stuff. So I think he's and he's quite good at finding the right footage that fits the music. Yeah, they're always a great match. That's they always awesome. it always works. And now there's kind of a theme that's going around with with yeah. the prism videos, which is cool because yeah. yeah. it definitely you know there's a, there's this kind of whole vibe that happens. And I know when I see it, I always immediately know it's a no prism video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's become part of the presentation definitely. He's kind of your Anton, your Anton Corbin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, give it ten years. <laughs> give it ten years. It'll be doing a documentary on you. That's what it's. That's there you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you there, Mike? We got you. You're still there. Yeah, no, I, I, I can't see you. I'm aware my camera's on, but my, my whole screen's gone, gone blank completely. I've got, I've got, oh, there I am back. I had, a, <coughs> I had a black screen in front of me. I thought the world had ended. That's okay. It's fine. You're back. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We yeah, can't well. wait to hear more. Uh, please keep the songs coming and let us know when you're playing. And if there are any live streams, please, please let us know so us South Africans can watch it. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks uh, give a, send our regards to Andrew and the other guys in the band as well. I know Andrew did pop in earlier, but he's popped. Back yeah, we lost again. him. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know it was like Never mind. Logistics. <laughs> but, Le- logistics in it. Logistics. That's what exactly. Thanks, guys. Okay, Great no having problem. you on the show Let's again. Catch up with you. I'll see you soon. Chat soon. Cheers. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, prism. Love it, absolutely love it. It does look great, oh. doesn't it? Their visuals are just great. The, the, that, like you said, that into, it's like it's like, oh, did you? This has just come out of something. Like, it's, yeah, we didn't we didn't even design this necessarily, and yet they, they they're perfect. They're, they're obviously, they're again, it's all about working collaborations, isn't it? These guys just work together brilliantly, obviously. Yep, absolutely. Well, it's been another fun full show. Oh, is I mean, I've realised that I've got an, an old man rug sitting behind me. I've had the whole way through. It's kind of a little time. I haven't even rug. noticed. I haven't yeah, even I noticed. I just, I but I thought it. I'd play out with a special video tonight, if you don't mind. Um, well, we recently had what am I do an absolute I legend. <laughs> we recently had an absolute legend in our studio here. And I, I would be very remiss of me not to play out with it tonight. Um, the, the incredible, and he's, I actually found some vinyls. I should have got them out because I mean, I have to go down to Cape Town and get him to sign them for me. Um, but he came into our studio and I thought I'd play the very first track of his performance in the studio. This is the legendary Robin Ald performing on Tales from an African Lounge here on New Music Mondays that we're going to play out with tonight. And Martin, once again, happy birthday. Thanks, and I hope you had a wonderful time. And yes, to the next hundred years. we will live forever why not and i absolutely love doing the show with you and hopefully we'll keep doing them on and on but yeah i'm very excited so um this is uh robin ald here on new music mondays tales from an african lounge the first track i can't even remember what the track was i must be honest let me quickly have a look so i can at least title it correctly here that would be good of me um first track is called back of the line and this is Robin Old. We'll catch you same time, same place next week. Good night, London. See you, chums. Bye. I'm going to start off nice and easy with a two chord wonder. It's a song of optimism about hopefully not being eaten by sharks. I surf quite a lot at a beach in Cape Town called Musenberg. And uh, 
We have shark spotters that sit on the mountain and um, they call you out if they see a shark. So it works very well. We haven't had any attacks since, since it happened. The um, thing is they clock off at half past five. So this is about sitting out the back at Musenberg around about 10 to 6 when there hasn't been a wave for a while. And uh, you're just looking over uh, at the horizon and doing the math, you know. So I'll go back of the line. The light is fading along the shore I want one sweet spoonful more I'm not ready for that one last dance I give a one in the nose If I get the chance But if she takes me Oh, then she takes me If I she takes me, then I'm going home And if she wants me I guess that she'll have me All I ask is that she swallow me whole oh, Swallow me whole Back of the line Am I out of the time? Back of the line Shadow Sometimes he come like a bird from the sky Sometimes she come like a fish out of water It seems like everybody's wanting to fly But if it's my time, then it's the right time I can't cry, I never got to roam, no And if the song rolls on in my mind Then I'll be whistling as I on the way home Whistle all the way home Yeah. Oh. 